Hi everybody, welcome to Wool and Wine. I'm Tammy. I'm Claudia. I'm Janet. And this is a special episode. And so if you're a new viewer, we're super happy to have you and welcome back if you've been around for a while. Yes, and today is the end of the week from Rhineback, the 27th <laughs> of October. And it's a gloomy day today. Yeah, let's But we are recording here in south of Dayton, Ohio, and in Bellbrook. So this episode is not going to be the typical one, like Claudia mm -hmm. said. We're going to really cover our the Rhinebeck weekend experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, so we have lots of goodies to share. We ran into the lots most amazing. People. Oh my gosh. Oh, you yes. viewers rock. rock. You guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for coming up and saying <laughs> There you hi. go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Like, oh, so much definitely. love. Definitely. We can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. Um, so we started off on Wednesday of last week <laughs> yeah. and loaded the car. Picture insert here. <laughs> Uh, we had a, a really, really great drive, but before we get started, <laughs> get any further down the road, yeah. before we get we too far away, cheers, cheers to everyone. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that Delicious. One. Delicious. I'm going yeah. to sit mine way back out of the way today because we've got lots of yarny goodness to show you. Yes, we do. Okay, yeah. so we planned our trip by, we thought initially that we would drive six hours and stop at a hotel six hours away, but all the hotels that were six hours away were not where we wanted to stay now. So we kept kind of moving over I-80 towards New York and ended up stopping at a Hampton Inn in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, <laughs> where immediately, <laughs> who wants to tell the story? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> when we walked in, we were um, you know, checking, checking in. in. <laughs> <laughs> and we were checking in and all of a sudden we heard, Wool and wine. <laughs> you turned Tammy, around. Yes, turned around, and Tammy said, "That would be us." <laughs> so yeah. we met two amazing ladies. Yeah, who, they were sweet. Kathy really? and Vicky. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys are cool. That was, <laughs> yes. We had no idea that anybody would even recognize us in the very first place we walked into. I know. Into. I can't even believe like, that. That was are. amazing. <laughs> And this was in Pennsylvania. Even, yeah. So. Yeah. Right. It was. It was awesome. So it was such a pleasure. So we yeah, have a picture, you ladies, with them. <laughs> yeah. So we stayed the night, and actually we ran into them several times while we were at the hotel. Yeah. yeah. And we had to go someplace for dinner because the Ham it was a Hampton Inn that we stayed at, and. Um, they only had paper cups, and we <laughs> took really good wine, and we, we needed glasses. We are not drinking right. good wine out of a paper wax cup. paper cup. It's just, <laughs> they were Can't like do it. the little coffee cups like to go. Yeah, so, yeah. no, no. So we went and picked up a dinner at a really cool, um, gosh, it was like a full-service barbecue restaurant with a bar, and it was like a little brew pub. Yeah, it was you called Turkey drink. Hill Tavern, I think. Yeah, you Turkey can, Hill Tavern. Turkey Hill, that's right. Yes. And they just yes. happened to have <laughs> big water tumblers that were glass with their logo on it. I think it. they were for beer, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it'll be water at home, but, you know, yeah. we each bought one. I think that was like seven bucks, and it uh -huh. was a really good seven dollars uh -huh. spent because we went back to the hotel sat there, ate our dinner, and had a couple of bottles of wine. And I think we ran <laughs> and into... And knitted. And knitted, yes, yes we did, uh -huh. because... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. and Kathy and Vicki told us about pick up a stitch. Pick right. up, pick every, up every stitch. Yeah, pick up every, yes, yeah. pick up every stitch. 
And they were telling us the next day, like, a lot of the podcasters are going to be at this yarn store. Uh-huh. And so we went, and it was an, a really awesome experience. It was. There. It was. And we had no idea. I mean, I guess we've heard maybe podcasters talking about it, but somehow in my mind, I had that going much further south into New York, like closer to the city. And in fact, it was Mount Kisco, which really... From the hotel, wasn't it like just uh, about hour three hour. hours? Oh, no, from yeah. our hotel, not oh. the Airbnb. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it was like a three-hour drive, and then it was like only another hour north, and it was mm-hmm. a really good stopping it point. Was. But it um, was. at Pick Up Every Stitch, we ran into Kathy and Vicky again. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they had told us they were going to yeah. be there. <laughs> they did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so. so that was really nice to get to see those ladies again. Actually, mm-hmm. we ran into them all weekend long. Oh, we did. It was mm-hmm. fabulous. It was so fun. Yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> but they got us kicked off on a good note yeah, right, on, right off the bat. That was a fun little shop, too. I it mean, was. They, mm-hmm. We met the... Um, woman from what was Moondrake. Moondrake. Moondrake yes, yarn. She, she was doing a special, and I actually bought some yarn. Yes, she did, did you guys buy any of that? No. no. Okay, so I'll Why show she it? it. I have it right. I do. I have it right here. So we are not. It was it was getting crowded because of so many fabulous podcasters that we never expected in the world to meet. Yeah. And like, did you? I mean, I I was hopeful, but I never expected to. I, I have no I had no expectations because I didn't and, know what to expect. Yeah, and the people who were working there were fabulous, and oh, I have yeah. no idea which one was even the owner. I think it was the one walking around in the Friday slipover. which I absolutely right. fell in love with. So I ended up buying three skeins. I did buy some yarn. I forgot. Let's see. There okay. we go. Of the Moondrake yarn. And I bought this in the slate colorway. I hope that's coming across. Um, so it only takes three skeins. She <laughs> was wearing the same size that I would need, and she said she knit hers in three skeins, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So this, it's called Slate, but I don't know if you can tell. It's, it's a very brown gray, gray mm-hmm. which, oh my gosh, I love. I mean, okay, hello, brown gray. That's like the color <laughs> of my hair, so there we go. But I got that, and with purchases, they were giving away these nice little measuring tapes, which I haven't, there we go, I haven't pulled it out yet, but um, I think everybody who made a purchase yes. um, got one of these. So that was really, that was really that nice. That was cool. Um, yeah, yeah. And you bought something. I yeah. did buy something. Um, so they had a cute little hat on display, and it had like little... They looked like tiny what, pom-poms. T- tiny pom-poms. Yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so adorable. So I had to buy some. And this is what I have. E- uh, and I can't even, I'll not even try to pronounce it because it's... <laughs> there you go. I hope you can see it. We're getting a little bit of glare. But this has, it's like on a string. And then the little pom-poms. Let's see, can you see that? Yeah. So I'll have to make a hat with a dark color so those little guys show up but yes yeah. it's gonna be so cute. that's fun mm-hmm. i thought that was really fun so and, so cute and they had a little sample hat with yeah they did it was so yes. cute it was adorable yeah. and it have... comes in all different colors right so they had they some didn't... that were like pastel all the little itty bitty pom-pom balls were pastels and they had them oh, in other yeah. like autumnal uh-huh. colors because uh-huh. you had picked up a different one and then went back for the I don't know why I did that because so they were all cute. So what is this? This is such kind of like a taupey gray It is a taupey color. I'm going to either put it with brown or navy blue or... Probably go with any anything. color. Anything. Just, uh, anything. And yeah, that's yes. why I ended up with the neutrals. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it was so cool there because, you know, I don't know how many podcasts you all watch, but um, 
We got to meet Amy Palco, which was a really an awesome thing. Right. Oh yeah, and we wore our we wore our Corin cardigan. Corrigan cardigan. Oh, Rebecca, yes. the Craya Bea, and she was there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and she was so excited about oh, it. Oh, for yeah. us. So Melissa was with us from Sinks, and so there were four of us wearing three or four different colors of the Corin cardigan and. We knew Rebecca was supposed to be there. We had heard her say she was going. And again, we didn't think we could possibly go because yeah. it would be mm -hmm. too, too far out of our way. And so when we found out the night before that it was within driving distance and we were going, we switched our entire sequence of what we were wearing on what days and wore that uh -huh. And it was so it was good perfect. It, it was perfect. Was. Yeah. yeah. So Mega from Skeins of Dreams drove well, them around. She picked them up at the airport and drove them to all the places. So she was with them as well. Uh, um, that was so exciting. I didn't know she was driving them. Yeah, she was. Yeah, so that was awesome. Kevin and Ray, Needles oh, at the Ready man, were that, there. Those guys mm -hmm. are so fun. Oh my gosh. They're they, so cute. Yeah. 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 And yeah. of course, the knitting we, posse was yep, there. All the girls from the knitting posse. Who yes. else was there? I know that we're missing somebody. Uh, who's a, she's one's small. Oh, yes, my gosh, Kelly and Noel. Oh, right. Oh, no, yes, yes oh, sorry. Right. And <laughs> yeah. So who else? I mean, I feel like there were more. It oh, was, there were. Um, we ran into so many mm -hmm. of yeah. our viewers. And you guys, thank you so much for coming oh, up to yes. us there. We had yes. no idea, and it was so amazing. It was. And we... Yes, yes. So one of the viewers was Jessie, and Jessie she... Designs. Jessie Designs. And she brought her son and daughter, and evidently they all watch us. But um, we have a special shout-out to Annie, Jessie's daughter. So there's a picture of her wearing a mask, so we feel safe that she's protected as a child. Um you know, just showing the picture. But anyway, she made us a gift. And I don't know, okay, all the colors are coming through. And she made the bag. And then each of us got this beautiful little bracelet. And the bag was full of goodies. I mean, there were... Yeah some little tasseled, um, I would say keychain, or actually it'll go on a project bag. And she put one of her super sparkly little yeah, gorgeous pencils. So and there were stickers and all kinds of things inside the bag. So it was so fabulous. But we wanted to do a special shout out to Annie because that was so cool. Yes. And thank very, you very so, sweet. so much. Yeah. yeah, it was sweet. It was. Yeah. Yeah, and I just found it, I found it so thrilling that not only does her mom watch, but her two kids watch But the kids well. knew who we were. Yeah, yeah, that was so funny. But so many other viewers were there, and yes. it was just so great. And so Melissa took most of the pictures, so she's not in a whole lot of them because she was behind the camera. Right. But she was with us every minute, and it was so fabulous yes. to have. It was, was so nice she, for her to yeah. do all that. Yeah, it was. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we um, before we move on to the next place, do we want to talk about what we're wearing? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Because we really yes. haven't done that yet. Yeah, that's true. right? And yes, we do. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so... I am wearing the Grace Notes by Hohi Locatelli.
And actually, Janet and I should stand up together, but... So there's a video, so maybe I don't need to stand up. But you want to show your yarn for sure, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, it's just back. beautiful. But, so the yarn that I used is the Rowan Island Blend in the colorway Lemon. And it is very lemony. <laughs> I kind of describe it as a not quite ripe lemon. But anyway, this yarn, I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to find the blend. It is made with Falkland Fine Merino, Baby Alpaca, and Silk. Oh, wow. And I think you bought that yarn in Italy. We were I did. In Italy last year. <laughs> yeah. I saw, yes, I saw this I in Italy. That. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought it there. And I have. Five more skeins, a little over five more skeins, because I bought extra because I thought, oh, that'd be really pretty in color work. But I'm kind of. Oh, it will be. Well, but I'm now I'm kind of thinking a ranunculus. Oh yes. Because oh. I think I might have enough to make maybe three quarter length sleeve Heck or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's such a pretty color and it feels so good. Yeah, man. So, that's a beautiful color. That yes. Is. So I also made the Grace Notes Pullover by Hohi Locatelli. And that here it is. So gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So pretty purple. <laughs> 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 and yeah, so I used the Knit Picks yarns. And it's the Wool of the Andes in colorway Amethyst Heather. And this is such a nice yarn at a pretty economical price. Oh, yeah. it is, yeah. For sure. And this is a, such a beautiful pattern. It is mm -hmm. a beautiful pattern. And, and it's we, such different wool. Yes. Yes, that's right. They both they look so different because of the different color. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So Claudia and I wore this Sunday at Rhinebeck. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty chilly that day. So we both had shawls yeah. on. So you mm -hmm. couldn't really see it really well. Yeah. But I got warm as but, the day went on and I took my shawl off. So maybe it was more visible by then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I can't remember. I was cold. But, you okay. wore that. I did. I wore those. So we, we wore what we wore on the last day. Um, so I have on the Tutka by Caitlin Hunter. You can see all these little um, yarn overs. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very breezy when it's chilly outside. <laughs> 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 yes. So this, if y'all remember Knit Crate, um, I was one of the subscribers and I have Knitology, the glowing worsted in the color Shoreline. And this yarn, I mean, if you can just see the movement of that, it is amazing. This is 40% superwash merino, 30% silk, and 30% alpaca. I don't know mm -hmm. how many skeins of this I have, but I only used half of my stash of this to make the sweater. Um, so I could make something else with it. And I have to tell you, as soft as that is, you know, sometimes the soft ones peel really bad. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, I mean, I've got a couple of pills, but I had a purse on a shoulder bag to carry yarn in because hello, <laughs> <laughs> right back shopping, um, a shawl and a, a raincoat for part of the day because it was really kind of, it was too chilly for all these holes. So I did keep my raincoat on um, more than you guys did. <laughs> there were so, a lot of pictures mm -hmm. that you'll, of course, you'll see those along the way. Um, but anyway, I love this. Highly recommend the pattern. It was very much fun. And if you have any of this yarn in your stash, um, I did put the weights uh, for exactly how much I used on Ravelry. Mm. And if you've got any, don't be afraid to use it because man, oh man. I'm not afraid to take a shaver to it. Um, I probably will have to because it did pill just a little, but mm. I expect it. Mine seems um, to have little, it has a halo now. That's why I look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. 
very little pilling, yeah. even with a shoulder bag and well, all the same with mine. Carried. Yeah, that stuff I've, is a workhorse. Yeah, this is just amazing. Yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't pill much. Okay, so then what? Oh, here, let's take a break. Just good idea. Reset. All right, so after we left to pick up every stitch, we went on to our Airbnb in Kingston. Yeah. yeah, and that was really awesome. Yeah, that it was, was fun. The beautiful house, so we all had our own suites. Yeah, thanks for Ari. I don't know if Ari's watching this, but <laughs> <laughs> he was our host and he had to come a few times because <laughs> cause there was tweeting going on in the basement, which turned out to be uh, a humidity No, issue. smoke. It was a yeah. smoke and monoxide detector. I yeah, thought, yeah, I thought that's with a bad was. battery, yeah. but it said on the back of it, we also, it was very humid down there, and he brought a dehumidifier that filled up the entire tank overnight. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he came back the next day and dumped it, and then it, the thing started beeping again, and so he finally just took Changed the battery. Well, he took yeah. a day, changed the battery, and reset it the first day. Uh -huh. And then he came back and just removed it because, you know, he doesn't want to keep coming back and we don't want to keep calling him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah. a little, little, just a little nit. Yeah, but it, no, it was, it was beautiful. Fun. It was fun. We had a great time there. And, yeah. And there's some pictures, I think, that are getting inserted from... Uh, there was a creek right behind the house. And so a couple of us went down there and think... Janet and Melissa and I went down there and walked around a little bit and took some pictures. It was beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. I think beautiful. I was talking to Rick on the phone, letting him know that we got his car there safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so but it was a, it was nice. Yeah, it was really yeah, nice. It was nice. It took us probably what a half an hour to unload the car and bring all the things in because we had all kinds of food that we you know <laughs> we were there for five days, so yeah. we had a lot of stuff to put away and unpacking to do and just trying to get settled in mm -hmm. and things. But we did. Yeah. yeah. So the next day then, we went to Woolen Folk, which was from noon to seven, I think were, were the hours. So we decided we were going to get there for, at noon time. And um, Woolen Folk was in Catskills. So it was probably 20 minutes, half hour away, I think. North so, of us. Yeah. yeah something and like yeah, so we were very excited about going to see that. Mm -hmm. And um it was very very crowded the parking was really difficult as far as um we had to put our uh, the car was on a metered spot so we had two hours so um which was enough time for us when we went to there yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, was it was raining, raining. It yeah it was <laughs> raining muddy um, yeah. they had tents outside they had two buildings um with where the the purchases can be made with all the yarn and stuff and then they had some tents and a couple food trucks, um, but we had to wait in line for a long time. And then once we got into the building, it was just, you couldn't even Jammed. barely walk. You <laughs> yeah. couldn't move. It was pretty crowded. It was so crowded. Yeah. And then it got really so, hot in the buildings because we had our sweaters on and it was uh, like, whew, I got to go outside. Yeah. Take a break. Yeah. yeah so, a, a lot of people have already commented. commented about all the negative things and the dangers and yeah things that went on but um, we did buy our early bird tickets they were forty four dollars and seventy nine cents each person and so we don't really feel like we got our money's worth um you didn't even buy yarn there did you no did you? I, yeah, you I was either. just too, too it many, was, it was, i was just it was too crowded for it me. It was yeah. too uncomfortable we I weren't really stressed out after a while because yeah. i i don't do well in big crowds were well, crammed in and that's yeah how I felt so I'm like I'm just one out of here yeah it felt <laughs> yes. like the worst concert you've ever gone to where you don't have your own space um so I really wanted some of the lamb and kid big birdie and I they ended up staying someplace close and letting me get burrow my way <laughs> that's for lack of a better term mm -hmm. or you know word to use for it 
back to the wall that had the things that I needed. And um, so I did buy some Big Birdie. And my plan is to do the either the cinch or one of the others that uses Big Birdie. So these are my three colors. Um, Lamb and Kid, I think, was one of the sponsors, although we never saw their name any place. This color is, boy, you know what? Claudia, do you want to turn that ring light off? I almost feel like that's putting a glare on things where you can't, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. We usually don't have that one on, and you know what? It might just be the, the day. This is called Blackbird. Um, this color is Grandma's Button. And then this color is called Peanut. And I have two of the Blackbirds. There were no signs to tell you how much anything cost, or at least none that I could see. They may have been there and just totally blocked with people. So it was a shock when I got up to the register and <laughs> saw the um, total that I wanted it and I'd stood there all that time and these guys were good enough to stand and wait on me so I brought it home and I will definitely make something but we had set a timer um, I had set an alarm on my watch to go back and put money in the meter at an hour and 45 minutes because we only had a two-hour parking meter and we really were only a few blocks away mm -hmm. Um, I think a lot of people didn't park in the metered spaces for that reason, because what a hassle to get in and then have to get yeah. out mm -hmm. yeah. and get back to your car. Mm -hmm. um, but we did meet uh, several viewers there, yeah, and we, did. we just love that experience. Yes, that was wonderful, people. too. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really, really nice. That and was the highlight. One of our viewers, Mindy, she sent us... Oh, the right. email some really great tips for a Ryan back when we were there and that was really helpful and And so thank you so much for those. Yes, Mindy, that was amazing. And it was so it was. good to meet you and yes. everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, there was one other thing. We had gone into the McMullen Fiber Tent, oh, right. the area where they were. And, you know, when you first get in, they were in one of the big tents that we first encountered. And this was before all of the tiny mud-filled tents. Um, and it didn't seem that bad. I guess yeah, people, pretty crowded in it there. was crowded, mm -hmm. but I walked in and I, we were able to talk with the owner for a while. And at that point, I thought that we were going to wander around, look at everything and then go back and buy the things we wanted. And by the time my alarm went off to feed the meter, we decided that we were done. That was it. We, we just couldn't, it, it's like our, Nervous systems were maxed mm -hmm. yeah. out. Yes. <laughs> Our fun meter was pegged. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I, we, we were just done. So we went back to the car. Um, Janet and Claudia stayed behind. They were going to go in and look at some manchalope because Melissa had bought some. Beautiful. Stuff. And yeah, it was, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But um, Melissa and I walked onto the meter and got our lunch out because we did pack our lunch every day, which... It was a good idea. And it was a good thing we did because there were only three food trucks and um, one was vegan, one was some seafood, barbecue, and the other was mussels. And it's like, hmm, <laughs> not what we expected. <laughs> yeah. So we were really glad that we had our little cooler in the car and could yeah. go back and have our lunch there. But we sat and ate our lunch and then we drove back to the Airbnb 
to decompress mm -hmm. and knit and open a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a drink. We haven't Actually, had drinks. Actually, I was... think, yeah, when we got back, we made a cocktail. Yeah. I think we didn't even <laughs> open wine until a little later. Yeah. It was, it was that kind of a day. But um, it was an experience that we are so glad we went to. Yes. We um, got to see so many good people. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a highlight. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, so then the next day we got up <laughs> and went to the New York Sheep and Wool Festival in Rhinebeck mm -hmm. and um, totally different experience. Very different. Just yeah. plenty of room for everybody to walk around in. Well, it's, it's a huge, big, huge fairground. Well, the yes. Dutchess County, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It was yes. all black top and huge yes. white sidewalks. What a difference a yeah. day makes. <laughs> right. I was all worried about having muddy feet the whole time, but I yeah. didn't. No, yeah. the only time we had mud to deal with was on Podcasters Hill. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, right. yes, that was very muddy. <laughs> yeah, I thought Well, that's because there were so many people walking around. Walking in that, yeah, yeah. and it, it had already rained for a couple of days, yeah. and it was, yeah, pretty squishy. It'll be a miracle if they get their grass back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, but it was nice because it didn't, because we were kept watching the weather and watching the weather, and the day before it said, oh, it's going to be raining all afternoon. And we're like, oh, no. But we got there and it, it didn't. Really, it it we drizzled. We had some misty we had, yeah. Yes. We had our umbrellas in our bags. So we all took uh, like a pay, our plastic grocery bag, you know, one of those like Kroger bags to put our umbrellas in so we didn't get our yarn wet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really smart thing that we had planned ahead of time. Yes. So, but our umbrellas were in our bags more often than they were out. Yeah. yeah. And of course, the barns that you walked through were so oh my huge gosh. and spacious and... Oh, it was just wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when most of us did damage. <laughs> the vendors. <Yes. laughs> Interesting enough, though. I mean, we the three of us, pretty much, we purchased... Yarn it. The Same. similar vendors. A I mean, lot. a couple of yeah. us bought a couple other things, but I mean, we all bought stuff yeah. basically from the same vendors. So it was right. lovely. So do you want to, we can all show yes, these at the do. same time. Sure. Let's do this one. The colors on these are going to be no surprise to you guys. So it's from Feederbrook Farm and these were called Mill Ends, but check them out. We'll just hold them up. I got two. So, I couldn't decide. Look at the colors. <laughs> Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. No surprise. Janet's so. is turquoise and purple. Mine are the reds and autumnals. <laughs> and mine is a mine are light light blues and green yeah. and green and then this is just a mishmash of a bunch of colors that it is and well, i predominantly white in the background isn't it or natural or maybe cream it's beautiful the way the colors pop on i that. know i love it and i was going such... which one should i get and then i said screw it I'm yeah both. these are like 150 <laughs> gram yes. Tanks, and yeah and they had five had them for Forty-five dollars. So we were all five hundred and twenty <laughs> yards. Yeah, we were all. Right. And it's a hundred percent blue face Lester wool. Yes, yeah, so I mean, non super like, wash. Yeah, How wonderful is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if we all sit back and hold them, this might be the picture we grab. <laughs> Jeez. Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, that's the picture. That'll be our cover photo. Oh, it should go this way. It should go this way. <laughs> okay. That's better. If you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, then, um, we were in a booth oh, yeah. and we saw the Letho by Moondrake. No. No. No, no. that's from By, Natasha Hornby. But what is she? She's Moonstruck no. Knits. Moonstruck, not Moondrake. Moonstruck Knits. And so it is... They had a sample there that was just gorgeous. And I'm sure that they sold a whole bunch of this yarn. I think so, of right? So, did you only bring two colors? Yeah, because I have that color too. 
and then and these two. I thought you got a different. I thought you got green. Mm, no. Oh, okay. All right. So, so it's very, very much the same. Um, my colors. These are Studio Donegal. And my colors. And then are you gonna? You want to just hold this one with yours since sure. you got the same one? Well, these are my colors, but. <laughs> But yours is just the opposite, isn't it? You yeah, this is a, this. My plan was to do this with for the body, and then this is some highlighted stuff. So, yeah. and they were doing these guys are doing this for the body. Mm -hmm. So mine's just a, the opposite. Yep. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we all got these, and it was a big old bag of the studio yeah. donable because it takes like five of these maybe mm -hmm. this yeah seven, this is some, or seven. i'm sorry gorgeous yarn maybe Minus six, six. So, so we have six of these each then yeah for the body and, and the price on it was really good very, very good. good and yeah. this was adirondack yarns i think yes is the, is the oh, right uh, vendor that we bought from but she was very nice i felt so bad the first day we were there because I was sort of like dominating that little corner because I was trying to figure oh, out what colors. you couldn't figure out your colors. I yeah. couldn't figure out my colors. And then I just said, oh, well, I'm going to do the dark because I know these guys want to do the light. And I have to be different. Right. <laughs> right. And we started out. Oh, right. The first place we went to was the Bare Naked Wool. Did, did you bring yours? I noticed I didn't bring mine. But you got but the... But I got the same one, the Better Breakfast DK, but I bought it in a light brown color. Oh, okay. And okay. so, unfortunately, I did not bring that. All right, so... But that is some lovely yarn, too. Oh, man, it feels so, so nice. So we all got sweater quantities, like, so that we can make something maybe with cables. Yeah, I got five of um, these. And the colorway is Americano, and it looks just like coffee. I mean, it. that is beautiful. Yeah. And then I got the uh, Stone Soup DK, which has a little more speckle to it. I just, I just really like the and, and speckles add so much interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they this do. one is eighty percent wool, which is a blend of Rambouillet, Columbia, Lincoln, and Churro. Uh, sheep and then 15 percent alpaca and llama and then a combination the uh, probably the little specks are probably the tinsel bamboo silk and bison so. oh wow wow and the colorway on that one is oh i'm sorry yeah. it's way over here by the slate okay slate <laughs> so again the slate is kind of a gray brown kind of a gray brown yeah taupey it's yeah. kind of a mm -hmm. taupey color dark taupe but deep deep yeah yeah like really, really dark. rich yeah such a good color and it's so soft oh my gosh yeah man that was exciting it is <laughs> and then i think we next we went well at some then, point we all went yeah. to loop yeah and we loop. all bought some these again i think are millens yeah, yeah the, and i bought the same color as that i just didn't bring it with me because i knew she had it that here. i had it yeah so you know a lot of you are really into oh uh spin cycle yarns and this looks very very similar in the way that it's spun mm -hmm. you know because you can do color work with that you can see how the colors all change and uh -huh. Janet's is the same way. So Claudia bought exactly this Best one. one. And these don't have a colorway name. Um, right. I think when they're mill ends, they just don't. But now this is a worsted weight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think the feeder brook was a DK. Yes. 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 Yep. Yes. yes. So, so this is 220 yards of extra fine merino. So. And then so I bought, I bought this the yin yang. There's two different. So this is one colorway, and then this is the complete opposite color of this. So the, the, the background color of this is the stripey parts in this one. And so my plan, I said, well, I have not done the Weekender yet. And so I thought this would be gorgeous in the Weekender. Oh, it would be, mm -hmm. yes. And then, and then this could be the cuffs or up here. I wasn't sure I was going to have enough. I think it's just barely under... So I'll decide what I'm going to do yeah. once I get there. It would but look so gorgeous just, just to do all the ribbing parts in the office. They had one sitting there, too. Yes. It was funny. The next mm -hmm. day we went back 
So that was on Saturday, and then we went back on Sunday because I wanted to get another skein of this. And then they had one that was displayed that had done that. So they put the dark with the body and yeah. the light with the for the uh, yoke. So yeah, so that'll be fun. And these colorways, this is called Pure, and this is called Simple. <laughs> right. Pure and simple. Pure and simple. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, I have a sweater quantities of the of, of this one too. Well, that will be really nice. So right. Janet, well, you've got a purple there. So then I went to this beautiful. It was a cute little farm called Flora and Fauna Farm. And they had some beautiful yarn that was in their clearance. And of course, it was aubergine. So, hello, I could not resist getting some of this. And this was, this is the label. And so it was some cute yarn. And it, all of their yarn comes from the fleeces of violet, fern, clover, parsley, and fennel. <laughs> Those are the little sheepy names. And <laughs> hello, with this color, I couldn't resist. Right. And yeah. so, I mean, it's so nice. So nice to buy from some local farm in New York. Right. That is so cool. So, and then I have one more purchase. This is uh, the Helix DK by Utopia, and this is 100% Rambouillet and Targi wool. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like taken with it. I love, love, love the colors. Right. So do you want to show that against this so they can see that you didn't buy the same? Oh yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not the same. It's not. It's very different. It's very different. <laughs> but let me show you. I am thinking that dark gray. I mean, that would be so beautiful. I bought this thinking I might do a um, cardigan. But now I'm starting to think about doing that press flowers. Oh. As the background and then I'd hold it with gray. On so the... your flowers would be the solid color? No. Oh, this... they would be the, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Or I could do either way. Yeah, it yeah. Because you have a whole sweaters quantity of this. I do. I think that would be gorgeous. That would be awesome. Anyway, would you be. know, it's funny. It's like I get home and I go, oh, no, I think I want to do this with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. so many choices, right? Yeah, too many, too many. Okay, so then we left on Sunday, or we we're at Sunday, right? Well, we went to podcast ourselves, so we really oh, had we did. that on Saturday, right. and we met a lovely people. Oh my gosh, so many really wonderful did. viewers, and thank you so much for coming up and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> introducing yourselves. Some people yeah. were a little shy; they were like, "Hi," and you'd have, we asked, you know, "Do you know us?" Because we. You see us, we can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> so we had no idea what anybody looked like. And so some people were hesitant. And even we got notifications afterwards that I saw you there and we didn't speak because, uh, you know, they were shy. Aww. And so it's like, oh my gosh. Don't do that. Come up to us. Say hi, because we want to know who you are. And give you a big hug. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we're we huggers, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was so yeah. fun, talking to everybody. and It really was. We uh -huh. got to meet some other podcasters as well. Uh -huh. um, so while we were there, we found Gina from um, Skein Cocaine, Cocaine. And she gave us each one of these... I won't even show that. Beautiful minis. I waited. I think it's a twenty gram mini, so there it'll go a lot further than uh, than anybody thinks, and it's just gorgeous. Of course, all oh her gosh. colors are gorgeous. You just can't go oh wrong. Oh my gosh! And so is this a DK or a uh, fingering? Probably, yeah. It looks fingering. I didn't even look um, at it. Before. I'm gonna say it probably is fingering. It looks like it is. It looks like it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So it's big. I mean, 20 grams is enough to hold it double. Anyway, yeah. so we did that, and it was fabulous. And that was the only place we really encountered mud. Yes. Right? Right. Yeah.
Uh, so we yeah. saw Casey from Young Folk Knits, and that was really neat. Lily from Curatorial Knits. Um, yes. Oh. Awesome. And the highlight. Andrea yes. Mowry. Yeah, she was up there for saw sure. Her. Leslie from Front to Front. Oh, yes. yes. They were and, uh, yes. a friend to knit with. Yeah. Oh, a friend to knit with. Front to Front is her a shrug. It's a shrug. There you go. Yeah. Oh, but we saw so many amazing people. So the I think the the most the coolest thing is so we all wore our Abydos sweaters on Saturday. Oh yeah. In the hopes yes. of seeing Lily K. France because that's her design, and we're standing there waiting for Melissa. She's looking at at something, and and Janet goes. Oh, there's Lily Anastasia. Yeah, well, Anastasia. Anastasia. And I looked um, around and I'm like, and there's Lily Kate France. And so she, she was she was like, oh my god, she takes that much water yeah. on. She literally squealed. It with was so joy fun. When, but we were very bright in our sweaters. Of course, the picture will be here. <laughs> But that was a huge highlight. That and then was. to get to meet her and Anastasia. Anastasia. Yeah. Oh my Free gosh. your sheep. Yes. 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 She she's it's the so one sweet. and I told Anastasia this. I said, You're the you're the reason why we have these sweaters because she's made a couple sleeveless versions yep. and I loved it and so we ended and she's up she's also made the long sleeve one she yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah I don't remember saying yes. that yeah I believe that yeah, so we cool. all decided yeah. that we were going to make it and wear it because they and specifically that day because Anastasia had said they were going to be there yeah. on Saturday so I'm like Ooh. Yeah, we knew what we were wearing. We just didn't know what order until we started hearing who was coming when. <laughs> right, so that was right. so cool. Mm -hmm. Right. So then we decided to go back on Sunday and do some more shopping because... <laughs> <laughs> just because, just we, because, because we wanted to yeah so and just kind of see some of the things that we missed on saturday Uh, we are yes. going to record our regular podcast on Tuesday, which would be our normal um, recording day. So, okay, after we left, we're driving <laughs> along. We needed to stop and get gas because we were heading out to go home the next morning. And so as we're driving towards the gas station, we keep <laughs> seeing these signs that are kind of stuck in the ground along the way for fab yarns. And jokingly, I said, anybody up for going to another yarn shop? <laughs> and while I was getting gas in the car, Melissa looked it up on her phone and got us directions <laughs> to the yarn <laughs> shop. It was a fabulous little yarn shop. It was a tiny little mm -hmm. thing. It probably <sighs> wasn't much bigger than this room. <laughs> And Honestly. they had a sale. <laughs> they had the 30% off of everything in the store. Yes, which is so, awesome. Right. So Fab right. Yarns is a, it's an online shop. They do what they say, 80% of their business or 90% of their business mm -hmm. online. Right. That's so the good 95%, yeah. I thought she said. It was it, it's in this unbelievable. adorable, it's like a little cute old building. And the front of it is just 
all the way around with a big rack in the middle of all the yarn you can possibly stuff in and bags and needles and notions right. and all the things and it wasn't just one kind of yarn it was anything you could think of and melissa had been looking for a bulky weight yarn to knit a sweater for her husband dave the entire time but she needed a good quantity like 2200 yards and dave's a big guy and um she needed a lot of yarn and it was hard to find a bulky weight mm -hmm. it was i mean she could find a bulky weight but they might have you know maybe 1100 yards so anyway we get there and she finds some beautiful yarn and they had exactly the right quantity um i was just the whole time she's shopping i'm walking around and i don't know if you guys all remember us talking about it before but at the what was the festival the youngest jersey no no the mid ohio the mid ohio yeah. mid ohio when yarn robin festival. from yarnbird was there i bought from her two different colors mm -hmm. of zero and i knit in a pale blue the love note made a long sleeve love note in this and this stuff it's it's categorized as a fingering weight I thought it said DK. Well, if you look at it on, so it's 246 yards for 50 grams. So that's 500 yards for 100 grams. So in, it mm -hmm. calls it sport because of the fluff, like on the tag. But 500 yards to 100 grams is clearly lace weight. But I knit it in a DK weight. So that's I what, think it's just because it's so, it's so fluffy. fluffy. Yeah, I mean, I have to wear something under that, even if it's just a little lightweight tank top. But um, I thought this would be so good to use in place of mohair or mm -hmm. Surrey alpaca. Mm -hmm. um, the content is 40% alpaca, 40% cotton, 20% wool. And so I got three skeins of this because it was 30% off. And, you know... You're not sure if a yarn shop's getting any love on yeah. the weekend of Ryan back when <laughs> right. everybody's already yarned out. Well, we weren't quite yarned out. We we between the four of us, we spent a good amount there. Yeah. <laughs> well, mostly Melissa. Mostly <laughs> Melissa. Yeah. She was the big winner this week. She definitely was. But so anyway, we all walked away thinking we got yeah. really good deals. Yeah, I bought some of the the soak. To, oh right. Oh my, right. I bought one skein of uh, sweaters. Uh, it it's kind of a golden color it's a super wash that i thought maybe i would use with my um oh right with for your letho 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 yeah. letho yes what my left my letho yeah so <laughs> i didn't bring it with me today but you'll see it eventually because yeah. i think my my plan for my letho has changed <laughs> yeah we might go a little long when it comes to that one so we're all doing it at the same time since we bought the yarn together yeah yeah yeah, we'll, yeah 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 we'll keep you posted <laughs> it's a little ways out um for sure because yeah. our needles are like we said pretty full, full right yeah. now yeah so well, that pretty much concludes our trip yeah yeah it was really nice we hello. Oh, we really and then okay, ourselves. so here's one thing. On the way home, we stop at some a rest rest stop to use the bathroom, and we're walking out. One lady's walking in, and she goes, "Were you at Rhinebeck?" <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we go a little further, and somebody, somebody else, else says said it. the same thing, and then we're all wearing our sweaters. Yeah, yeah. But so, our car is also as jammed packed <laughs> on the way back. on the way yes. home as it was on the way going. <laughs> We didn't is. think that was going to be the case. We no. thought we'd have a lot more space. <laughs> we we drank all the wine. We drank most of the vodka. Uh huh. Ate and all the food. All we ate all the food. We even packed sandwiches for on the way home, be, so it wouldn't take us an entire day to get back. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and um, I mean, we did have that little bit of lunch stuff left over, but everything else was gone. Snacks, I think. We had some trail mix left yeah, and, <laughs> and a bag of snacks way in the back. But honestly, our yarn took up all the space in the car mm -hmm. that the um, food wine had. and food had taken. Melissa filled the cooler <laughs> for five days of food for us. And we cooked meals while we were there and we took the food with us. 
she filled it with yarn and it still wasn't enough. I <laughs> <laughs> because the top was sticking out. <laughs> yeah. well, it was our first experience at Rhinebeck, and so it we was... enjoyed every minute of yes. it. Yes. Yeah. All yes. the beautiful yarns. I mean, I could have bought so much more. Oh too, my gosh. I yes. bought enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bought enough too. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I have a space in my cabinets. Well, I don't. To put it, <laughs> but I'll have to knit faster. <laughs> I think I, you know, and I, after that I said, you know, I think I'm on a major, I'm fasting. I'm on a yarn fast. Okay. Now. Yeah. 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 Because I, I, I can't <laughs> keep I'm not more. fasting. I'm on a yarn diet. I may still need some condiments to add here and there. Unless I have to have a legitimate <laughs> need. I'm not going to buy any sweaters go on. Right, right. <laughs> that, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to do that just so we don't have too, too much. Right. I don't, I, yarn piggery isn't a good thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, how I feel. Anyway, yeah, we'll, um, we'll have a regular podcast next, sometime Jeez. next week. Yeah. So. All right. So it, look for us. Yeah. We're not yes. going to go to the tasting table today. Um, but we'll do We our just toes. wanted to make this a really short, uh, sweet episode for y'all. But um, it, just remember, if you can't be with the wine you love, <laughs> love the wine you're with. Cheers. Cheers. We should have a picture of um, Melissa's shirt, because she that's what her shirt said. Mm. Love the wine you're with. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Cheers, everyone. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks. <laughs>